In this last video for the first week, I want to talk about planes in R3. And let me start with some definitions. I want to describe planes by equations. Recall from Calculus 1 and 2 the definition of a locus. Given an equation in the variable's space, a locus of the equation is the set of coordinates that satisfy the equation. In R2, an equation in x and y corresponds to a shape. The standard example I used in previous courses was the circle. The equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1, so the circle is the locus of this equation. A linear equation in three variables is any equation of the form ax plus by plus cz equals d for constants a, b, c, and d. A plane in R3 is always described as the locus of a linear equation. So, to describe planes in R3 is to write down the correct linear equations for them. To that end, let me analyze the linear equation a bit more. The left side looks a lot like the dot product that I defined in the previous video. Multiplications of two terms and adding them all together. I can write this left side as the dot product of a vector of constants, a, b, c, and a vector of variables, x, y, z. Then the equation says that all points on the plane, x, y, z, are points that, when I take the dot product with a fixed vector of constants, produced another fixed constant d. This means that to produce the equation of the plane, I need a vector a, b, c, and one other constant d. The vector a, b, c is called the normal to the plane. It is called this since it is, as a local direction vector, perpendicular to the plane at all points. If d equals 0, then the plane goes through the origin, and abc dot xyz equals 0 explicitly says that all vectors on the plane are just vectors that are perpendicular to the vector abc. Recall that a zero dot product means the vectors are perpendicular. The amazing thing about this construction is that abc is still perpendicular to a plane even if d is not equal to 0, as long as I treat it as a local direction. This gives an algorithm for finding the equation to a plane. I need to construct the normal, abc, and the extra constant, d. I can do this from three different starting points. Starting with a point in a normal, starting with a point in two local directions, or starting with three points. Here's how it works starting with a point and a normal, and I'll demonstrate by example. Say I know the normal is 0, negative 2, negative 3, and that 1, negative 7, 5 is a point on the plane. The normal is the vector abc, which gives the coefficients for most of the equation. I write the equation with these coefficients, 0x plus negative 2y plus negative 3z equals d. Then d is the only unknown. However, I have a point on the plane. I can put that point into the left side of the equation and calculate. 0 times 1 plus negative 2 times negative 7 plus negative 3 times 5 works out to negative 1, which is equal to the right side, which is equal to d. Therefore, d is equal to negative 1, and I have all the information. The equation of the plane is 0x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 1. And since the x-coordinate is multiplied by 0, I can write this as negative 2y minus 3z equals negative 1, remembering implicitly that the x-coordinate also exists, even though it's not written. Now let me move on to the other two cases. In both, the algorithm just reduces to the previous case, so I'll just describe the reduction, not a whole example. There will be more examples in the notes, and lots of practice in the activities for week one. When I start with a point and two local directions, I don't have the normal. However, the two local directions are directions on the plane, and I know that the normal is a local direction perpendicular to the plane. The cross product is the tool in R3 that produces a perpendicular direction. Therefore, I take the cross product of the two local directions to get the normal. Then I have a normal and a point, as in the previous case, so I proceed as I did before, and I've reduced the second case to the first case. Finally, I can be given three points, as long as the three points are not all on the same line. This is probably the most common data for a plane. 
Think of three vertices defining a triangle in 3D space. From the three points, I can take any subtraction of two of them to get local directions, say q minus p and q minus r. These two subtractions are local directions. So now I am in the previous case. I have a point and two local directions. And I have three points, so I can use any of the three points here as the specific point in the second case. So now I've reduced that case and I can proceed as before. And this completes the first week of videos and the vector introduction or review, giving the geometric concepts we'll need for the rest of the course. Well, mostly. A few other pieces of geometry will be introduced in the course as we need them.